Okay, in addition to what I just talked about, I have to say something important too, okay? As a Christian, and for those with ears, I want you guys to hear, it's like, even if you, um, no, I'm talking about from a Christian perspective, it's like, the Lord Jesus Christ, He speaks to us through this book, and if our eyes are constantly on the world, if we're constantly looking at Instagram, if we're constantly looking at YouTube, you gotta think about it seriously and be legit. If you're looking at this phone and this YouTube all day long, more than you're taking information from this book, then the world is informing your lifestyle. Think about it. The world is informing your lifestyle. Not the God of the universe, the one that cares for you and loves you. You're safe in this word. You're safe in this word. What do I mean by that? When you have this word rooted in you, you're protected from all the lies of the enemy that come directly through this phone. It's a fact. And the reason why I'm, I'm talking like this is because I found myself slipping again today in certain thoughts. I'll definitely elaborate longer in the future exactly what my struggles are, but we all have struggles. And I, I got up this morning, I read this book, I felt amazing. I came back home, what did I do? I looked to the world again, again. And then my thoughts started slipping. This and that, even little things like eating food like this, and I'm being serious. This stuff's not that healthy for you. So if you're gonna slip in very, very little ways, then let's just say this. If you compromise your beliefs in a small way, the door is open that much, okay? From here, it doesn't look like that much, okay? I, I'll just, today I'll just, you know, I'll just do a little thing that I don't really believe I should do. But eventually, as time moves on, oh look, it gets bigger. Oh, the door, oh, now the door's open. Boom, now you're in sin. Now you're not living a life that you want to live. So it's better just not to open the door, in my opinion. Okay, I've lived 28 years. Don't open the door. Why open the door? People say, hey, you want to do this with us? It's just one time. Say, no, and leave. That's what I think is best. Um, yeah, because living according to God's word is so important because God's going to come back one day and we're going to see him. We're going to meet him, and we're going to have to answer according to all our, do, our deeds. And this isn't something that we should be scared of if we're living the right way. So live the right way. We don't have to be scared. We've got to be joyful. You know what I'm saying? And this isn't God trying to punish us. It's trying, he's trying to give us the best life. So anyways, I hope this struck a chord with somebody. If you've got something to do, I'm pertaining to, I'm talking about in your relationship with God. It's like, don't compromise. Number one, put this book number one. Number one, turn your eyes away from worthless things, which would be the world, and preserve your life according to God's word. That's a verse in the Bible. Yeah, hope it encourages you guys. When I have more things to say, I'll say it. And if you want to, I have another YouTube channel. The link will be in the description. All the times that I've talked about God's word. I just started putting these... Um, videos at the end of my main channel videos just because I think, you know, people that didn't even know or weren't expecting to hear a word from God, they'll hear it, you know? But if you want to hear some more things, I got another channel. Um, yeah, God bless you guys. Like, I feel like my mission here on earth is to um, preach the truth. And the truth is right here. The truth isn't me having a fun time in different countries and learning the language. That's fun, yes. And that's part of living a good life according to the word of God. It does say that you seek first the kingdom and he'll give you all of these, all the things you need to live a good life. It says, delight yourself in the Lord and he'll give you the desires of your heart. And I found that true in my life. I'm delighting myself in the Lord. Am I perfect? No. But I want to do that and I try my best to do that. And now I'm able to travel the world and make a living doing things that I love. And I think that is a blessing from God. That he has given me things that I love to do. And at the same time, I'm able to preach his word. So, yep, let it be an encouragement for those with ears.